Chapter 19 Then Job spoke again. How long will you torture me? How long will you try to break me with your words? Ten times now you have meant to insult me. You should be ashamed of dealing with me so harshly. And even if I have sinned, that is my concern, not yours. You are trying to overcome me, using my humiliation as evidence of my sin. But it is God who has wronged me. I cannot defend myself, for I am like a city under siege. I cry out for help, but no one hears me. I protest, but there is no justice. God has blocked my way and plunged my path into darkness. He has stripped me of my honor and removed the crown from my head. He has demolished me on every side, and I am finished. He has destroyed my hope. His fury burns against me. He counts me as an enemy. His troops advance. They build up roads to attack me. They camp all around my tent. My relatives stay far away, and my friends have turned against me. My neighbors and my close friends are all gone. The members of my household have forgotten me. The servant girls consider me a stranger. I am like a foreigner to them. I call my servant, but he doesn't come. I even plead with him. My breath is repulsive to my wife. I am loathsome to my own family. Even young children despise me. When I stand to speak, they turn their backs on me. My close friends abhor me. Those I loved have turned against me. I have been reduced to skin and bones and have escaped death by the skin of my teeth. Have mercy on me, my friends, have mercy, for the hand of God has struck me. Why must you persecute me as God does? Why aren't you satisfied with my anguish? Oh, that my words could be written. Oh, that they could be inscribed on a monument, carved with an iron chisel and filled with lead, engraved forever in the rock. But as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he will stand upon the earth at last. And after my body has decayed, yet in my body I will see God. I will see him for myself. Yes, I will see him with my own eyes. I am overwhelmed at the thought. How dare you go on persecuting me, saying it is his own fault? I warn you, you yourselves are in danger of punishment for your attitude. Then you will know that there is judgment.